السلام علیکم بھائی سلام محمد محمود جان فرام سری نگر جموں اینڈ کشمیر انڈیا آئی وانٹ ٹو شیئر اے تھاٹ اباؤٹ دا ڈیڈلی کووڈ نائنٹین اٹس آئیڈیا ریگارڈنگ اٹس سولیوشن آئی ایم ناٹ شیور ویدر اٹ ول ورک ہنڈریڈ پرسینٹ بٹ دیر از اے ہوپ دیٹ سائنٹسٹ مے فائنڈ اے وے ٹو اسٹاپ دس پینڈیمک بائی دس سجیشن ایز اے ہول ورلڈ ہیئر از ٹرائنگ ٹو کل دا وائرس آئی ہیو اے سجیشن اور آدر سولیوشن دیٹ ول ایکٹ ایز اے کیمو فلاج ایز وی آل نو دیٹ وائرس اٹ نیڈز اے ہوسٹ اے لونگ باڈی ٹو ملٹیپلائی اے سیلف to multiply itself and and uh, it attacks the respiratory cells like goblet cells and the other cells uh, so that it can enter inside it before that i will illustrate it with an example as you all are aware about the hydrogen molecule hydrogen element of the periodic table it shows reactivity towards fluorine bromine and chlorine but it also shows the reactivity towards iodine It shows fast reactivity with these elements, but it shows slow reactivity with iodine. So, it can be the same case with the virus. Like the virus itself has spikes on its body and acts as a key. These keys attack the protein ACE2 of the respiratory cells, as I said, the goblet cell of the human body. It en- enters inside the cell and starts to multiply. But if there is a compound, bacteria, or we can create our own biological compound towards which it will show more interest or reactivity. then we will inject it inside the human body and the virus will be more attracted to it as i can say that virus will treat that bacteria that compound or that biological material that we are going to inject or create ourselves and inject inside the human body it will act as a host it will think that that virus that bacteria is its host so the keys of covid 19 may have the 80% accuracy may have the 80% accuracy to open the lock of ace2 proteins of the respiratory cell but to the other bacteria which we will inject inside the human body that would be the humanized bacteria or biological compound it can show the 100% accuracy maybe so the plan is that if we have an bacteria compound or if we can create any we need to give human body the immune sprint so that the bacteria won't die it will numb the immune system and the virus on the other hand will attack the bacteria treating is at as its host bacteria acting as a cage will hold the virus for some time then we will need to give the immune boosters to enable the immune immunity back to its position even if for its enhancement enhancement we have the immune system that will kill the bacteria and the virus inside it so what the plan is we have the covid virus and we will have the another bacteria or another thing that we will create ourselves the biological material what will happen this biological material the virus will think that it is now its host as it will be showing 100% accuracy towards it so this virus will attack this bacteria that would be created by the human that would be humanized so what will happen after some time it will go inside it and this bacteria will catch it this biological compound will catch this virus inside it and then as we should have already we should already have the antidote of this bacteria or this biological compound what will happen this biological compound acting as a cage the immune system will attack this bacteria and will catch this and the virus inside it so the both things will die so what we are doing is we are going to kill two things with a single stone as uh, we already know that chinese they have a nanoparticle they have created a nanoparticle that can absorb the covid virus but the difference between this idea and their idea is suppose this boy is a virus that is covid virus and there's a girl and there's another girl and another girl this girl is the goblet cell of the respiratory human bo- body so what will happen this virus attacks this girl this boy will show 80% accuracy or interest toward this girl this girl and what the chinese are doing is uh, this uh, girl this is a nanoparticle suppose it's created by the chinese what they are saying this girl will attack this virus it will try to attract this virus towards it but maybe virus will show or not show, or will not show the interest towards this girl 
on the other hand the material which we are going to make like this girl the boy that uh, virus is showing 100% interest with this girl this girl have everything beauty money power everything so this boy is going to attack this girl with 100% interest so the same case would be with us that if we create any biological material that this boy this virus would be attracted to with the 100% accuracy then it would be easy for us to treat against this and we can create <clears throat> the medicine by looking at this uh, like uh, we will inject uh, a person with this I can say in the professional manner that uh, we will be injecting a person with a disease we are injecting the human body with a disease and when we will do this this virus will attract towards this girl or, or towards that humanized material biological material that we will be creating or if we have any so uh, it will be uh, destroyed by the immune system so with one stone we are killing two things so why my idea might be a little bit better than this is since the genome of COVID-19 changes so it might be literally uh, up to impossible to design a vaccine against it and if we will even create a vaccine about it later on we can have many side effects of the vaccine and uh, like we can say that the substrate of the virus has to be chosen in such a way that uh, the body does not recognize it as a foreign it will eliminate the need of immunosuppressants the complex of the uh, molecule or the bacteria and the covid then can be targeted by the humanized antibody containing the toxin for both or the complex uh, the, uh, can then be subjected to the lysosome degeneration this will eliminate the need of reactivity the of in the immune system uh, and uh, i can say that <clears throat> there need to be do uh, there need there's a need of some modifications that is to be considered hope this idea will help the scientists to fight or uh, to find a vaccine about it thank you as my dear friends i live in kashmir and uh, you know that uh, I, when I went to the Kashmiri scientist that's in Kashmir University, the researchers and the scientists, they literally told me that we don't have the much facility available here that we can help you. But uh, now I'm uh, making this viral so that it can reach to the different scientists and the scientists can help so that they can get an idea to find a vaccine through this method. Hope you will do it. Inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs>